Hey YouTube, how you doing? It's Andrew here, back with another episode of Beer Bar and Beyond. In today's episode, I'm going to be tasting a lovely beer out of Devil's Peak Brewery. It is their uh, limited edition canned release of the Grapefruit Express India Pear Ale. So I'm going to get it into a glass and let you know what I think about it. So I've had Grapefruit Express before. In fact, I've had it quite a few times. Uh, first had it on tap at the brewery and uh, then had it at the Cape Town Festival of Beer last year in 2016. Um, and yeah, then I've had it in bottles thereafter. As you can see, it's a really cool can design. Uh, it's got a little grapefruit character, little dude on there. Uh, really nice can design. Uh, this is a 440ml can and it comes in at five, no sorry, I like 6% alcohol by volume. It is golden in color. Mm, not 100% clear. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go as far as to call it hazy. Uh, you can see there though, for a can beer, that head has dissipated very, very quickly. Maybe this glass is also not the greatest for uh, head retention. Should we give it a smell then, hey? Mmm, you can immediately smell that grapefruit. Sweet nose, lots of grapefruit. Uh, there's grapefruit rind used in the actual brewing process, so you get a lot of that. I'm not sure what uh, selected uh, hops they're using in this but it definitely adds to the aroma yeah let's give it a taste shall we oh wow that's cold <laughs> yeah nice and bitter nice bit of finish breathe out you still get that um nice grapefruit bitterness lingers in the mouth great mouth feel although the head is clearly gone on this one it's not flat really, it's just lost its head really, um, but a super nice beer and kudos to Devil's Peak for what they're doing with these um, limited releases. So essentially they come out in four packs, they cost 120 Rand and they're released once off one day and they're usually gone on the same day. So yeah, it's the same beer in a can, I don't taste much different from from any previous incarnations I've had of it. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a head there developing. I guess maybe my paw wasn't the greatest. Something that maybe threw me off a bit or rather had me anticipating something a little bit different was uh, the addition of lactose as well as oats. I don't recall from the bottle releases if there was any mention of oats or lactose in the brewing process but I would have expected the lactose and the oats to give it maybe a bigger, bigger mouth feel, maybe a bit more hazy complexion, but this beer is incredibly clear, so if any lactose was used, it's either very minimal or has all been filtered out in the brewing process. So I guess in closing then, a really solid beer. Thumbs up, I'm not gonna be giving beers ratings. I'm by no means a brewer, so I'm not one that's going to sit here and judge someone's beer. I'm just gonna tell you how I feel about the beer. And people that are looking for, you know, different beers rather than just lagers and standard pale ales. This is, this is really something nice and, you know, something that uh, you can really appreciate. So guys, in closing, if you like what you've seen, please uh, like, subscribe and follow me on social media. Apologies for the audio. Hopefully in time I'll look to improve that. And of course that should see an improvement in the videos and ultimately the viewing experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll, I'll check you again soon. Cheers.